Well, now to a story that you saw first here on Channel 2. A former preacher in Montgomery County is facing serious abuse charges. James Patrick is accused of sexually assaulting a 10-year-old child. Channel 2's Janelle Bluda has been following this story since we first broke it at noon. Tonight she is live of what we have just learned in this case. Janelle? Well, Patrick was arrested Friday, but has since abonded out. Now, according to an arrest warrant, those allegations actually came out in a recent family counseling session where Patrick actually admitted to inappropriately touching that 10 year old girl. 45 year old James Patrick is a retired Willis police officer, a former school resource officer and a preacher. Here he is ministering to his congregation and the public through his YouTube video. The forgiveness of self and forgiveness of others. But today he's in the public eye again for a much different reason. Inappropriate touching and things to that nature. So when someone does something like that, you know, it's a crime. Documents obtained by Channel 2 show the alleged crime happened almost 17 years ago, back in 2000. A family member is accusing Patrick of inappropriately touching her when she was 10 years old. And it's been 17 years from now. Well, it's a felony one, so the statute of limitation is zero. There is no limitation. A complaint was filed with DPS and he was arrested Friday. People who have known Patrick. Oh my God, I would have never. Shocked to say the least. He's always been a friendly person and always real big about being with the community and do, helping others and investigators say the most concerning part his time spent as a school resource officer at Willis ISD coincides with the time of the allegation investigators say there may be more we know that this type of perpetrator um, you know they're not just usually seeking one victim if you have any information about Patrick, you're asked to call Montgomery County Crime Stoppers. Reporting live from Conroe, Janelle Blitta, KPRC Channel 2 News.